Now let's begin with the latest from the Ministry of Health, which is now saying that it will unveil new protocols and guidelines on burial of those who have succumbed to COVID-19 before the end of this week. Now the government says the decision follows findings that reveal if properly handled, the risk of contamination by a diseased COVID-19 patient was minimal. This coming as 102 more people tested positive for coronavirus out of 2,668 samples tested with two more fatalities recorded. Nancy Okware starts off tonight's coverage with that update. Yes. Since the COVID-19 pandemic struck in mid-March, funerals of those who have succumbed to the coronavirus have been characterized by health officials donned in personal protective equipment. It is a situation that has left many families battling stigma, but most unable to pay proper final respect to their loved ones for fear of being infected. However, the stigma is said to reduce after the Ministry of Health announced that before the end of this week, new guidelines will be published, giving family members more responsibility during the funerals. And see that we, uh, 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 you know, uh, review some of them to make it easier for those who have lost their loved ones to be able to observe certain rituals uh, as they bury them. Once the patient is, has passed on, is actually no longer as infective. And uh, as long as you do not get into contact with the fluids, the effectivity may not be that high. So the measures then will be more towards avoiding contact with those fluids. And you'll be using those guidelines regarding the packaging and how you handle the body thereafter. The ministry is saying that if the body is well treated and no one comes into contact with the body fluids, then the risk of transmission was minimal. A COVID-19 case a corpse is properly treated according to the protocols, is properly treated by being placed in a double body bag, by being placed in a coffin, a coffin that is fumigated, that the risks of transmission of, of virus are, are almost nil. And uh, of course, when the pandemic broke out, the cautions that were taken were extreme to some extent. And therefore, some of the measures were also rather extreme in ensuring that we didn't take any chance with transmission of the disease. And we hope the protocols, as we rolled them out in the course of the week, will probably visit some of those issues and you not see those men in white again. And we may actually be able to release the bodies to the relatives to go and bury, and as long as they follow the protocols. The development comes on a day when the number of positive cases rose to 35,205 after 102 more people tested positive from 2,668 samples tested. Wananchi tunawaomba waendelee ku observe zile ma restrictions ambapo tumeweka na tukiendelea hivi nafikiri tunaweza kufika mahali pazuri. The number of recoveries also rose to 21,310 after 80 patients were discharged, out of which 30 were from the home care and 50 from the various health facilities. 664 in hospitals today, and of this, we have a total of 25 in ICU and 10 now on supplemental oxygen. Two more patients succumbed to the virus, pushing the number of fatalities as a result of the contagion to 599. Nancy Okware, Channel One News.